Alright guys, Zachman18 here. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Professor Layton vs. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. We are continuing on with chapter number 5. Yesterday we were uh, kind of blown away about of, of what happened. Uh, Mr. Wright successfully proved Maya's innocence, but Maya, she tried to help Espella out of the cage and ended up being trapped inside herself. Mr. Wright, Espella, and I quickly escaped from the courtroom. All we can do now is try to find a safe place where we can hide for a while. So this is Luke, ta Luke talking. I am almost was almost blown away yesterday. Um, I'm gonna try to make this uh, quick. I hope this chapter is not too long. All right, so looks like we're going to the marketplace. <coughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and go inside. I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm not gonna do all the puzzles, by the way. Um, just as just as just as much as we come across. Um, it looks like it looks like maze of the forest. I can't see those knights anywhere. I think we'll be safe here for a little while. I'm sorry for all of this, Espella. Huh? If we just headed for safety right away, we wouldn't be in this situation. <coughs> My uh, throat's still a little bit sore, but I'm still doing this, so... Mr. Ray! I need to apologize to you too, Luke. What? You've been trying your best this whole time just to get Espella out of here safely. It's my fault those knights are on our tail and are probably going to find us. Let me zoom in a little bit here. There we go. But I wouldn't say all's lost just yet. I mean, there's not got to be a way to bring Maya back. I'm sure we can find a way. Come on, Phoenix. You have to keep it together here. These two need you now more than ever. Where then? How about we make our way to the tavern Inquisitor Barnum mentioned? Yes, that would be Ru Ru Rouge's tavern. I can show you the way. Huh? Hey, Espella, you know that place? Oh, yes. It looks a little bit scary, so I've never been inside before, though. <coughs> But I come to this side of town often to do my shopping, so I've passed it a few times. Um, I think Miss Barry's goat farm is around here as well. Is that right? Okay, it's just this way. Let's go. Right then, let's get going, Mr. Wright. Uh, yeah. Hey, Luke. Yes, what is it? I just wanted to thank you for earlier. You really helped me out. What do you mean? See, I get it now. I'm not the only one who's just lost someone important to them. I believe in the professor. He would never be beaten by something like magic. That would just cast a spell on him, that's all. So all we have to do is find a way to undo that spell, right? I see. You know you're right, Luke. The professor will come back, I'm sure of it. That's why all I can do for now is keep moving forward. It's what any true gentleman in training would do. Yeah, I get it. Okay, then let's go. Right. What's wrong, you two? It's over this way. Hurry up. Oh, sorry about that. We're coming. All right. So I just want to make sure I get my hint coins. I really haven't been uh, need needing to use them. Like, at all. <laughs> um, where else could they be? Oh, is that something? Oh, there's one. Um, oh, and there's the last one. Alright. <coughs> Let's go to the CD alley. Alright. Here we go. Whoa! Luke, what's wrong? Sorry about that, Isabella. I just tripped a little, that's all. Hmm? Is this a potato? Let's see if we can put this back into the basket. Wouldn't want anyone else to trip over it. Crikey, this place really looks like it's seen better days. Hey, 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 what's with all this racket? Someone's coming. This ain't no place for kids. Why don't your tykes run off and find somewhere else to play, eh? <laughs> oh, it's you! Hmm, ho ho, you're that lad from yesterday, aren't you? Is he an acquaintance of yours, Luke? Not not just an acquaintance, this lad and the bloke in the dark hat. They, they're my saviors. Them two really saved me on my hide yesterday. These two really pulled pull my fat out of the fryer right when I did it the most. I guess that's one way of putting it. It's alright, Isabella, this man is really a good person. Oh, that's right, lass, old Cutter has a face you can trust. Hang on, where is the bloke with the dark hat anyway? Oh, um, where well, you see the professor, he... Something mighty unpleasant must have happened from the looks of it. How about we take the conversation inside, eh? When you say inside, that wouldn't happen to be Rouge's Tavern, would it? Ho oh, oh, ho, hey now, didn't think you'd know about a place like that. I bet you must be the quite quite the heartbreaker with the lasses. That's not it at all. We just have a bit of business to take care of there, that's all. 
All right, all right, just pulling your leg, lad. Well, if you're looking for Rouge's Tavern, you're standing right in front of it. It's the brightest house on this road. You can't miss it. No worries, though. I'll head there with you guys. Thank you very much. <laughs> all right. I might be doing tiny coughs every so often. <laughs> so I apologize in advance. Oh, there's another one. Um, yeah, no, we'll go there in a second. Oh, there it is. Yeah, there we go. Alright, no. So I guess we did miss some puzzles back there, but oh well. Wow, it sure is lively in here. I've 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 already missed enough puzzles, and I think there is I, I, what I've what I've been told is that there is a, a bonus for completing all the puzzles. But I've already missed some, so I kind of gave up on that. It sure is lively in here. It certainly is, even more so than I thought. It's so cheerful, and everyone, everyone seems to be having a good time. See, it ain't just the shadies or the shady that hang about here. Well, you do get the occasional rabble rouser every now and then, but for the most part, everyone here is good people. You'll find the head honcho herself over by, behind the counter. Why not go introduce yourselves? Alright, let me look for my hint coins first. Oh, another one. Is that a sword sticking out? Might be. Oh. Wow, these have been pretty easy to find. Alright, I'm assuming this is the girl we need to talk to. Oh ho, but boss lady, I come bearing customers for you. Um, turn the volume down before you scare away all my other customers. Use your indoor voice, remember? Gotta make her sound mysterious now. <coughs> customers, you say? Now I sort of sprung this on you, and I know you're they're just a bunch of kids, but that lad there is my savior, hand to heart. So do me a favor and get the lad a juice. It's on me, just put it on my tab. I don't care about that. Did you take a look at that girl? What the heck were you thinking? Eh? Uh-oh. Do you have a loaf of bread for a brain or something, you fool? Huh? That girl is suspected of being... Sorry. The Great Witch Bazella. Bazella? Are you joking? I didn't know that. Uh-oh. Now see here, Spella is not Bazella. I accidentally turned the volume the, the, the volume off. We were the ones that proved her innocence and cleared her of the charges. See, boss lady, the lad agrees she's not Bazella. And besides, I knew the girl was innocent from the moment I laid eyes on her. Cutter, your judgment is about as reliable as paper shoes in the rain. Oh my god. <laughs> what I'd like to know is who told you three to come here in the first place? It was Inquisitor Barnum. Really now? So it was him, was it? You guys, listen, don't say a word of this to anyone else, you hear me? It can make life very difficult for our dear Inquisitor. Ah, right, got it. I don't know what he expects me to do with you guys, but fine, I'll lend you a hand. You can stay here for the night. There's an empty room you can use upstairs. We don't exactly get the cleanliest types staying here, so forgive the mess. Should be good enough to sleep in, though. Thank you very much. We really appreciate it. Um, thank you so much. Don't get the wrong idea, kiddos. This place ain't a charity. I expect you to return the favor someday. Jeez. Phew, I'm sure glad Rouge turned out to be such a nice person. Yes, Mr. Cutter and Miss Rouge are both very kind. Looks like we can rest easy for now, right, Mr. Wright? Yep, and I guess we can take this time to do a little sleuthing, too, if we want to. But we should probably rest while we can. Tomorrow's going to be a pretty hectic day. Now that's an idea I can get behind. Alright. New objective, rest upstairs. This must be it. So this is the room Rouge was talking about, huh? It's kind of a mess. Oh my, it is quite unique, isn't it? Is that a statue in the corner? How very, uh, avant-garde. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> <coughs> that statue looks a lot like Mr. Cutter, doesn't it? Hey, I wonder if he made this himself. No. Not only is Mr. Cutter very nice, it seems he's quite artistic as well. I don't know if I'd call this art, per se. Anyway, it's just nice to, nice to have a safe place to rest for a while. Uh-huh. We did, we did so much running about today, I'm totally exhausted. I think we can plan on our next step in the morning. Let's try and get some rest. Right. Okay. Maya, if only I'd been able to save you, it never would have come to this. Oh, this is so sad. 
Just great. I should be ready to pass out right now, but I just can't fall asleep. I'm a little thirsty. Maybe I should go grab some water. Usually when both screens fade out, it usually means it's either going to a cutscene or it's going to be like a to be continued. So that would have been funny if that was like the whole chapter. <laughs> it looks like the party is over. Everyone must have gone home by now. I'll just grab some water and head back to the room. This is the first time we've ever seen Phoenix talk in first person. Alright, so... Oh, I guess we can talk to her. <laughs> I don't know where the back room is. What's up? Can't get to sleep? Yeah. I'm absolutely beat. But I just can't keep my eyes shut. Hmm. You don't say. It looks like you've got your work cut out for you cleaning up this place. Need a hand? Nah, it's fine. The house rule is you make a mess, you clean it. But those dummies couldn't keep their eyes open. I'll make them clean up in the morning. Huh? So, hasn't anyone, everyone gone home? I couldn't exactly let them go home in that state, so I shoved them all upstairs for the night. This is both their home and shelter. I mean, don't tell me you can't hear their loud snoring from down here. And here I thought that was my stomach growling this whole time. <laughs> so you must have come down here for something, right? Oh yeah, that's right. I came down for a glass of water. Hmm, alright, but you'll have to earn it first. You win at my game and I'll get you any drink you want on the house. Did you say game? Um, what kind of a game? Uh-oh. Silence! Whoa, now that was totally unexpected. I'm really sorry if I said something wrong. Now don't you go good in the wrong idea. I only drew this knife. To use in this puzzle I made for you. Uh-oh. Alright. I guess we can do a puzzle. Why not? <coughs> chalice challenge. 30 picker rats. Okay. Slide the red chalice. Okay, so I'm assuming that one. This one right here, maybe? I don't know. Um, to the bottom right hand corner of the table, use the knives to bounce the red chalice across the table in the direction of sliding the end of the knife. Be careful not to deliver any green chalices as the cups switch places when they hit each other. Touch a knife to change its direction. Uh, okay, I see. So this is, you guys can't see this, but... Oh, that's the red, okay, so that's the red one there. So it's supposed to be like facing them? I don't know exactly how this works. I mean, I can flip all these over. Um. I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing right now. I just flipped all of them over. What? What? Oh my god! I just flipped over, like, all of them. The answer here is obvious. <laughs> that was such an easy puzzle. No further <laughs> objections. Oh my god. <laughs> that was... Okay. If you're looking for a tougher challenge, try talking to Rue. She's bound to have a harder puzzle sitting around somewhere. Goodness gracious, my luck is just... out of this world tonight. <laughs> Not too shabby, Tiger. Well, the promise is a promise. You can have any drink you want, no charge. Refills included, just say the word. And if only life's puzzles were easy as that. Thank you. I think I'll take I'll think I'll take you up on that offer. You earned it, you know. Never saw anyone around in these parts take down a puzzle like that so fast. <laughs> it was pure luck, trust me. It seriously was. If you want a puzzle expert, Luke is the one to talk to. Oh, you mean that sharp-looking kid, right? I think they gave us an easy one because it's Phoenix doing it and not Luke or like. <laughs> you know, for someone so young, he's got a good head on his shoulders that one. It looks like he's been through a lot. Yeah, he sure has. He seems to be in good spirits, but Deep inside, he must be hurting really bad. He just lost someone very dear to him, and he's trying so hard to hide it. Then there's Aspella. She had a new accusation thrown at her, and is again at risk of being burned alive. And Maya. I can't stop thinking how her death was completely my fault. That's why I need to be stronger. But I can't. I just feel so hopeless. I'm the only one who can protect Luke and Aspella. But I'm scared. I'm scared that what happened to Maya will happen again. Maya, huh? I caught wind of what happened today in court. She seemed very important to you. I'm alright. I'm just not sure I can protect those two. More than that, I just don't want them to think I might fail them. You want to protect them and don't want them to think that you'll fail, huh? That all sounds well and good. But you want to know what I think? I think you're just telling yourself what you want to hear. Huh? What do you mean? I think the words coming out of your mouth right now are downright selfish. Hey, what are you... Have you taken a second to step back from your wallowing and think how worried they must be about you right now? So it's hopeless, huh? Do you think those kids are hopeless too? Psh, don't make me laugh. 
You want to see Hopeless? That's easy, just take a look in the mirror. Oh, yikes. How do you expect to protect those two if you can't even manage to get a hold of yourself? I... It's okay. I get it. Alright, I'll be back, guys. Stay tuned. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go.